Video games. They are fun, I know. I've played a lot of video games throughout my life. But there's something you should know. Playing video games probably prevents you from achieving your goals in the long term. And I'm not talking about how much time it costs, because that's what a lot of people think. They always think, well, yeah, but you waste time on video games, right? But not me, no, I only play it in the weekends or I only play it one hour a day. I'm, I'm done working and then I come home and I just play one hour of video games in the evening. So it's not a problem for me. But yes, it still is. Because it's not about the time that you spend playing video games, but it's about the fact that video games hijack your brain chemistry. They hijack your attention and your motivation. This is the thing. You need to understand that video games are simply too much fun. That's the thing. They are more fun than doing real serious stuff, like working towards your goals and going to the gym and eating healthy, etc. Video games are more fun. And the problem is that nature designed us to think that the things that are the most fun are the most important. Think about it. From an evolutionary perspective, how could nature make sure that we do things that were essential to our survival and the continuation of our species? How could nature make sure that we would actually eat food? Because animals are too stupid, right? Animals cannot logically comprehend, hey, I need some nutrition right now. Let me eat these and these berries and this, this animal. They cannot understand that. They cannot understand that they need to have sex to procreate and create children and continue their species. So what did nature do? Nature made these things fun. They made these, it made these things feel good to us so that we eat food. We're like, wow, this is fun. This is a lot of, this feels really good. Tastes really good. Sex feels really good. And so we want to do these things again. It gives us a bunch of dopamine and a bunch of other chemicals and this sort of, well, you wouldn't say tricks us, but it sort of, um, uh, well, let's call it tricks. It tricks us into thinking that this is important and it makes us want to do it again. But this is the problem. In our modern lifestyle, uh, not everything that is fun is exactly that important. For example, video games. Video games are arguably not that important to do as continuing our species and, and eating food and making sure that we survive. But yet, these games are designed in such a way that they are a lot of fun. They give us a lot of dopamine. They give us more, this is the real danger, they give us more dopamine than real life. Because you can make progress and you can get rewards in a video game much faster than you can in real life. The Sims is the perfect example, right? The Sims is a real life simulation that goes faster than real life. You make promotions in The Sims faster than you do in real life. You buy a new kitchen faster than you can do in real life, right? You just play it for a couple of hours and you've got a nice fancy house. That's how fast you make promotion in The Sims. You play a game like World of Warcraft, a role-playing game. You level up all the time. Every time you level up, you get a dopamine hit. You get a new achievement. You get a new sword. You get a new this, a new that. You get rewards all the time, much faster than real life. And so your brain sort of gets hijacked into thinking that the video game is more important than real life. Because your brain still thinks from an evolutionary perspective where the thing that is the most fun, the thing that gives it the most dopamine is the most important thing. But it's not. Not anymore in our modern societies, in our modern lifestyles. And so this is the problem that we get when we have video games in our, in our life. Our brain loses the motivation to do serious things like go to the gym, work towards our goals and build a business and actually start earning money because these things are not as fun, AKA not as important to our brain as playing the video game. And this is why you see so many people that have like some plans they have goals. They think, yeah, yeah, I have my goals to become rich and I'll start a business one day. But not today. No, today I'll keep playing the video game. But it's just for one hour or just in the weekend, you know, just this weekend. So it's not that bad. Once I actually, you know, 
get the motivation to start working towards my goals, I'll still have enough time available because I only play this video game one hour per day. But this is the problem. It's not about the time that it costs. As long as you have the video game in your life, even if it's just one hour a day or one hour a week, probably, your brain is going to look forward towards that video game. Your brain is not going to bring up any motivation to actually work towards your goals. It's going to bring up motivation to play the video game. Think about it, honestly. You might, might be someone that just plays it one hour a day, right? Honestly, ask yourself this. If you are working during the day or going to school, whatever you do, what do you think about while you are working or while you are at school? Are you thinking, oh, I can't wait to come home and then start working on my business and start doing all these serious things and making some sales calls, etc.? Probably not, right? You're probably thinking, oh, I can't wait to come home to start playing that video game. That's probably what you're thinking because your brain is fixated on a video game. When you're awake at night, you're probably not thinking, oh man, I have all these creative ideas. I can't wait to wake up in the morning and start working out these ideas and actually create my business and, and, and etc. Probably not, right? You're probably thinking about that video game. You're probably thinking about leveling up, about becoming better, about trying this new thing. It's always the video game. And it will always be, it will always remain the video game as long as the video game is an option in your life. Because it simply, you know, even if you only play it one hour a day or one hour a week, it tricks your brain into thinking that it is the most important thing you can do. And your brain will always be motivated towards doing the most important thing it thinks it can do. And as long as you have any of these modern forms of entertainment in your life, it will prefer to do these things over actually working towards your serious goals. There's no way around it. it. It sucks, I know. It really, really sucks. I wish it wasn't like this, but it is, it is the fucking truth. That's the way that nature designed our brain. Now, I'm not trying to say that I think you should never play video games. That is entirely up to you. If you say, well, you know, Rob, I have my job that I have and I really don't have any big ambitions. I'm completely fine with the fact that I play video games at night or in the weekends. Go ahead, go ahead and play your video games. But if you are someone that does have big ambitions, but you just cannot seem to actually start working towards them, you keep telling yourself, yeah, one day I'll start working on my business, but not now. I, I, now I'll, I'll start the video game. This is exactly why. It's not about how much time you spend on the video game, but it's the sheer fact that that video game is an option in your life. So do with this information what you want. Just wanted to tell you guys this. this, this is the thing. As long as you have the video game in your life, your brain thinks that it's the most important thing it can do. And it's going to be practically impossible to find the real motivation to actually work hard towards your serious goals.